when we write any program where the object selection is required to be done by a user that time there are several ways uh, available for us or rather several classes available in nx open to do that uh, there is a ui class there is a selection manager there is a block ui styler there is a ui within uf uh, uh, ufunk uh, namespace uh, there is a windows form so we do have several options to do that and it is wise to know the different options and here in this video i am going to explain about the nx open dot selection nx open dot selection is a class you can very well find the information about which in nx open api reference guide this class defines an interface object for executing selection operations now if you notice the different members available within this class they are related to either adding the object to the selection adding uh, the tagged objects to the selection ask selection uh, ask selection list or uh, even uh, there are apis related to the removing the objects from list or even selecting objects so being selecting objects is very important uh, scope of this selection class we could see that there are several select object related members available in the selection class and this enables us to select the variety of objects through uh, through the selection uh, dialog now to tell you more about selection class this is the class is uses to support the selection in nx open program if you do have all these uh, options that i just told you there are these options available for you to use any one of you uh, any of one of them you can use uh, for certain uh, certainly but uh, this nx open dot selection is a very simple uh, when you are just limited to selecting an object so it is very easy to use i will i will also show you the example around it it provides methods and properties that allow users to interactively select objects within the nx environment this is what we need when we select the object right and that is uh, that is available that is uh, that is fulfilled by a selection class so we don't need to uh, think anywhere else we can simply go and use the member from selection class uh, in general process uh, this involves getting the selection object from nx open dot ui are uh, defining the selection parameters calling the selection methods to get Uh, to gather information from user and receiving a selection response along with the selected object if a user did not cancel the selection so all of this is covered when we use the api related to the selection of a object now let's have a look at the example itself this example allows the selection of a object we can select an object Uh, here there is a dedicated function defined for it and that uh, object type which it is selecting it is nothing but nx object so this is a base class for providing the most general object type in nx which is nx object now what is done here so we can definitely allow or define the selection for the selection uh, by user Uh, using this selection dot selection type we can also ensure if the response is got it means uh, if the user has really selected the object uh, and then uh, we can return that object itself and it can be the uh, assembly or it can be in a in a part so we can even define the selection scope here and uh, we allow the selection using this standard set of lines so if you would like to include the object selection from a user response into your code 
you can definitely copy this code block as is into your into your code and it will work uh, smoothly for sure so let's see let's see using this uh, journal example and uh, let's see this uh, journal example in action in nx uh, journal editor so let's see let's start i do have the same example uh, here and i will play this uh, journal first i am trying it out on a assembly you could see that i do have a assembly where there are several assemblies used so if i go and hover my cursor i can select a face and uh, it notifies me that this is a face i am just checking just uh, to to get uh, something in return i am just checking which face or which object type i have selected the same way i can go and select other object let's say age in this case and i get that age uh, in the return uh, what else i can select is uh, let's say no i cannot select this uh, coordinate system i can select the assembly constant i guess let's select the constant and i can get that displayed constant as well so this is how i can uh, select the object in case of an uh, assembly environment now if i do the same in a part environment let's see how i can do it i will execute the same journal you could see that i can select the extrude i can select the extrude and it specifies that this is a extrude feature that i have selected if i select something else i can even go and select age blend so i get that feature as well if i select uh, something else let's say sketch in this case uh, or a point so i can even go and select the point or i can go and select the sketch feature as well so i can select the variety of objects using this dialog and i can even report the information about that object so this is a very simple code to use into your uh, into your own code where you can allow the selection of objects uh, to the user very easily and you get that object in the return uh, and once you get that object in the return you can work further on that object to process anything that you want so this is the selection class uh, is all about here i am introducing a course called c sharp essentials for nx open customization and programming enroll now and unlock the power of customization in nx don't miss out